All right, what if I told you that one simple and free tool could completely transform your running? Well, in this episode, I'll share with you the answer to that because you're going to learn what does the VDOT calculator do to remove guesswork from your training? How can you use recent race data to get precise workout paces with that VDOT calculator tool? Why you should rely on VDOT to refine your fitness and training plan? Where can you avoid pacing mistakes by using VDOT for optimal training speeds? When should you use VDOT to develop an effective race day strategy? And a bunch more. Let's get into it. What is it? The VDOT calculator is an online tool that helps runners determine their ideal training paces. Inputting a recent race time provides precise paces for different workouts, and they'll spit out your easy run pace, tempo runs, and interval paces. Dr. Jack Daniels, the founder of VO2 Max Measurement for Aerobic Fitness, created this without any relation to whiskey. Why is it all important? When most people step into interval work, I think and I know based on experience, they really go into it blind. They usually don't test to determine their pace, heart rate, or if you have a power meter, power zones. This means that they can be even 10 to 20 seconds off their pacing per minute per mile or minute per kilometer, and they may not get the full benefit from the workout, either running it too slow or running it too fast. I use this a lot to figure out a rough estimate of my own running fitness, or when I'm coaching someone, it helps understand where the interval paces should be, the race paces, etc. This means fewer tests early on, but dialing in a range of, of pacing for specific runs, such as long runs, interval sessions, and easy runs. It also helps me develop a pretty accurate race day strategy based on several factors from putting it into this calculator. How to use it? It's very straightforward, but I'll do a quick walkthrough. You must have done a race or time trial over the last four to six weeks and plug that in, plug that into the calculator. Yes, you'll need to suffer for at least three kilometers, two miles, but preferably five kilometers, 3.1 miles, which gives better data if you're doing longer distances like half marathons, marathons is what you're trying to do ultimately. First step, race or time trial. Participate in a race or perform a time trial to get a recent performance time, preferably in the last four to six weeks. Step two, input data into the race distance and time into the VDOT calculator. Step three, output data. It will give you three different data sets, race paces, training, and equivalent. Number four, data sets defined. Part A, race paces. They, they give you estimated times for different distances depending on your current fitness. Use these predictions to set realistic goals for your next race. B, training paces. These tell you how fast to run for various workouts, such as easy runs, tempo runs, and intervals, as I said earlier. Stick to these paces to get the most out of your training. Please do not vary them. I promise they are usually very, very correct. I'll talk to why they can be off. And C, equivalent. Shows how your performance at one distance compares to others. Use this to see how you likely perform in races you have yet to try. Number five, don't be a noob. Most new people on this to the site look at race paces only. You are not a noob. I have given you this knowledge bomb, or this whole thing's episode, so that you can step your run game way up. Six, review paces. Analyze the updated training paces provided by the calculator. Obviously, review them. Get, get friendly with them. Seven, adjust training. Modify your training plan to incorporate the new paces, ensuring your workouts remain effective and appropriate for your current fitness level. Future Darren here. So while editing this, I realized that to really make this stick for you, I should have some sort of interactive thing that you download. So I created a free, quick, and easy cheat sheet, checklist, and 30-day 1% better plan so that you can use the VDOT calculator and improve your VO2 max. See the show notes or video description below to download that. Traps to avoid. If you are unfit in estimating things, the numbers will probably be off. You need to do a test time trial or race at 85 to 90% effort, and you will have to suffer. Ideally, you have had four to six weeks of base and then do the test. After not doing anything for five months, coming into this will give you wrong predictions. So don't give it bad data. It will spit out bad data and predictions and insights. Mostly science and precision. Take this with a grain of salt as it's mainly showing you your potential. You may be genetically predisposed to being more aerobically or anaerobically fit. I have more anaerobic fast twitch fibers, so that means I do more of the speed stuff. And based on my one mile time trial that I gave it, which again, I said it's a bit too short, but I gave it to it, a four minutes, 54 seconds, I should run a two hour, 20 minute marathon. That is not happening unless I put in a few years of building up crazy amounts of base and tempo runs and just a lot, a lot of miles and volume and kilometers to get marathon ready. 
I would also need to slowly get my body ready for the load that it would take to run that fast for that long and build up my chassis, tendons, ligaments, connective tissue, all that stuff. It would just take time and a lot of effort. This algorithm is not taking that into account. Final thoughts. Besides the above caveats, I found it a great resource to figure things out. It's also nice to play, I wish, (laughs) and see what types of intervals you may need to run in training to get a specific race time. Also, check out his book, Jack Daniels' book on VO2 Max, which explains all this VO2 Max stuff very, very well in a lot of science detail if you're into that. The VDOT score is a score similar to your VO2 Max if you were lab tested. I had the lab test done a few years back in my mid-30s, and I don't see a need to get it retested because I just don't need it. Most people don't need to get lab tested as is calculated in many other algorithms from other fitness watches, give you a range and go up and down, which is fine for amateur runners. And again, if you really want to drive this home, I made a more engaging and personal free quick reference guide, checklist and 30 day 1% better plan to using the VDOT calculator and improving your VO2 max. Check the show notes or video description below to get your copy.